Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to your April reading. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, for donating to the channel, for, for sending decks, for scheduling personal readings with me. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you for showing me so much love on the Eclipse reading. Um, I got a thousand views from you guys. Thank you. I uh, appreciate you guys so much. Uh, definitely uh, come back around for the love reading. This is going to just be a general overview, uh, guidance and message for April. I'm going to go back around as soon as I'm done with the earth and do all the love readings and then a bonus as well. Um, so thank you so much for your support. Uh, every single time you contribute to the channel, it helps our community to grow, helps uh, the message to reach more people. It's how we can support each other. I already said my prayer. So I'm just going to get started with the reading. What What is uh, the message here for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What does Taurus being asked to surrender to at this time? Spirit, let's put the deck here to surrender your fear of intimacy. You are ready to let love in. Com compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart. So a heart opening is really, really important. There's a lot of people walking around. Uh, a lot, a lot, the majority of humanity that is walking around without an open heart. Uh, I've been talking a lot about that in my, in my dailies, okay? Um, it is possible for you to heal and open your heart and feel safe to be vulnerable and open up to intimacy. Um, you can listen to, I posted on community board, a lot of meditations to help to heal and open your heart. You can listen to um, Archangel Shamuel, Raphael, Jeremiah. Uh, also, heart chakra guided meditation, okay? Forgiveness, affirmations, and meditation, because a lot of times our heart chakra is closed and blocked because we're holding a lot of resentments and a lot of pains of the that life, right, uh, from, from our past. So, um, so def doing this work is really important. I'm actually going to, for tomorrow's daily, tune into that. Um, it's for It's collective. If you, are, if you are on a true love journey uh, with somebody or you're trying to manifest true love, uh, watch, watch the dailies. It's for all signs. I am actually going to uh, talk about heart opening and um, how important it is. So um, definitely check it out if you feel called to. What else here for Taurus? So being more vulnerable. What else does Taurus need to surrender to at this time? We have surrendered to what is, being in the flow. So lots of feminine energy here because heart is feminine energy. Yeah, and then we have releasing your attachments to the results. Um, I posted on the community board a really powerful let go affirmation meditation. I listened to that twice <laughs> yesterday. And I'm, I'm also a fixed sign like you are. Um, sometimes we can fixate and attach. Uh, that's the ego, by the way. Attachment is ego. So the formula for success, this is easier said than done, right? If, you know, we're programmed, we have our conditionings, our fears, our ego. Uh, so it's important that you're conscious and aware of this so that you can take your energy back, come back to the present moment, okay? Um, when we think too much of the past or think too much of the future, about the future, attachment to the results, that's a lot of control. So that's masculine energy. Spirit wants you to just surrender to what is and allow for you to be in the present moment and just flow. Flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change a situation, compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will help to bring you peace. And um, so this attachment to the result is what delaying your manifestation from coming in. Okay, because you're sending a signal, energetic signal out to the universe that you don't have it. And the universe is going to give you more of that. When you act as if, already feel it, that it's already yours with confidence, with um, unwavering confidence, with no, without any doubt, with certainty, then it then it, it, it will be yours. If you see it in your mind, you, you will hold it in your hand, okay? And that's all that you need is to have more faith. More faith, more hope. Uh, this control here is fear. And fear is the, is, is the absence of faith. Okay, so we have the formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen. Then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome will sabotage it, will delay it. Okay, 
So let's get you a moonology for April for Taurus. I did post. It's not the easiest thing to do to let go. I did post on the community board a let go affirmation. If you listen to it every day at bedtime, maybe put your phone on your nightstand and press play on these affirmations and fall asleep repeating it. It's going to change your life. It has been changing mine. We have here expect powerful change eclipse energy. We just finished coming out of this eclipse, but just because the eclipse came and went doesn't mean we're not in eclipse season energy. This energy is going to play out for the next six months, three to six months. And also we do have um, the Scorpio full moon during your season. Okay, that's going to be on the 23rd. So Scorpio is your opposite sign. Normally we have a full moon's in the opposite signs right um, that's how it works so for example i'm an aquarius so during my season there will be a leo full moon leo is my opposite sign so um definitely something to remember right so that you can whatever this moon is bringing up and out for you you're meant to look at it you're meant to see it you're at the end of a tough cycle what else for taurus what else for Taurus? We have luck is on your side right now. Sagittarius energy. So think positive thoughts. Sagittarius is a very optimistic, positive sign. We have you and your loved ones are safe. So cancer energy of the home and family release any kind of fears. Lots of new energy here. Lots of new and new new moon. Your hard work is paying off new moon, new moon and new moon eclipse. So new beginnings all around for everyone right after this eclipse. It is a new cycle. We're in a new cycle right now. It's a lucky time for you to take the action steps that you're guided to take, um, bringing your ideas to life, perhaps. We have a split the deck to broken heart. So you could be going through a healing phase right now. Taurus could be releasing a lot so you can have purging a lot. That's what the eclipses was helping us with to release a lot so that we can welcome in the new. I do feel um, if we don't open up to intimacy here. Uh, we're going to be attracting in superficial relationships not real deep soul connections okay so it's really this work is really important to do yeah so it's also the heart chakra also helps you to release any kind of comparison to other people as well when it comes to whatever your work is that you're putting out into the world the only competition that we have is with the old versions of ourselves and who we were yesterday, right? What else for Taurus? We have a lots of opportunities, adjacent possibilities and opportunities po po um, opening up for you. But we do have some deception here in your energy. Your crown chakra is activating right now. And here you are, King of Pentacles. Man holding a coin here, being asked to take action on something here, okay? So there's deception on your energy. You may not be being honest, um, honest with yourself. Throat chakra energy here, okay? Uh, number seven, you could have deception around you, okay, in your energy. But I feel like you're getting some kind of a, a awakening, a wake-up call, a breakthrough, an aha moment regarding, uh, you know, a path here. So this deceit could be you not being honest with yourself about something or not being honest with people in your life or this could be somebody around you. What else here for Taurus? We have the thinking woman. This is this attachment. This is this overthinking. This is this, you know, um, and then we have door to romance and door to value. Do doors are opening right here. Doors are opening for you at this time. And there's anxiety here. That's this attachment to the results that we're seeing. And woman holding. Okay. There could be two feminine energies in your in your energy. That's why a choice. That could be why the anxiety. There's a woman holding a heart. And a thinking woman. That could be you. Okay. A head and heart. Head and heart not being on the same page. Which is, ca which is causing the anxiety here. Too much thinking here about there's doors opening up for you at this time of opportunities and possibilities. See two doors for money 
as well as love. It might have something to do with, again, with the comparison yourself to other, feeling deserving of what's coming in is going to be really important. You have love that's coming in here for you. And um, the anxiety is this attachment to the outcome, okay? So the thinking woman in your head, you could be studying something new or this could be this crown chakra activation that we saw going through your awakening. I feel like every single time I go through a crown chakra activation, uh, you know, I also, I feel uh, an activation in my heart as well. So your heart is also connected to your intuition. Okay. So it's like this, your heart is a magnet. Abundance and love comes from an open and healed and balanced heart chakra. And that's what I'm seeing here. So lots of anxiety you're having right now. So work on your root chakra so you can ground your energy when it comes to, I guess, making a decision. And so you don't miss out on these doors that are opening up here for you. Okay. So you don't miss out on opportunities because we're afraid of intimacy. We're afraid of opening up. We're afraid of letting love in. You're ready to let love in. It's a lucky time for you right now, Taurus, for money and love, okay? And um, there's uh, opportunities that's coming your way. I feel like this change, this powerful change, I'm seeing the lightning in the background. See, there's a, she's wearing red and there's a lot of red. That's root chakra. When you work on your root chakra, when you work on your root chakra, the root chakra has everything to do with your value, your stability, your security. It's earth. It's the element of earth. So that's your sign. It has everything to do with feeling, feeling strong, feeling like you are enough, like you have enough, feeling stable. It's connected to your money as well, feeling secure. Uh, it, it helps for you to release any kind of, if you're feeling distracted or, or anxious or fearful or frustrated or... Um, not feel, feeling fearful around money, okay? Or whether or not you can trust, that's also masculine energy, whether or not you can trust a certain situation that's coming in. You're struggling to listen to your heart. You're struggling to follow your heart here because of fearful thoughts, because of anxiety. This anxiety is also, um, whatever's triggering you, there's a message in the triggers. The triggers are guide. Whatever's coming up here for you, you're being asked to look at that, okay? So when you work on your root chakra, it helps you to feel more safe in your frame, more stable, uh, less anxious. This is your nervous system here that's triggering you, your ego, okay, that's coming up. It's triggering you with all of these changes. Maybe you're anxious because there's a decision you're being asked to make. So um, let's see what else we got for Taurus. There's something on your mind that's bringing in a lot of anxiety. And that's why spirit is saying to please flow with what is instead of fighting it. There's some, the anxiety is bringing in a lot of resistance here. But you can trust these doors that are opening. They're opening up for you uh, now because it's time for a new beginning. What else for Taurus? All right, last shuffle. here for Taurus for April what else for Taurus yeah there is a, a, a soulmate connection here love yeah look you're in your feels about it oh look woman holding a heart cancer energy doesn't have to be twice cancer energy there's cancer energy here as well so a very, a very uh, healing love that's coming in here for you. It's spiritual. Okay, you can trust your intuition about this. This is two people that are soulmates. A very harmonious, right on the door to romance. A harmonious, balanced love here for you. See that? So this is a very healing love as well. I feel like that's what's giving you some anxiety. 
I feel like you have a lot of uh, emotions here that are, you don't have to do everything alone anymore if you've been on your own. If you've been independent, Queen of Swords energy. It's like you've been asked to lower your swords to get out of your head about this and get into your heart space, get into your feelings. Make a choice um, based on sincere feelings, heart, heart based, not from your ego. I feel like um, this, this connection is sent by the divine for you. It is spiritual. You have a very uh, beautiful bond here with this person. And it's safe for you to be vulnerable and surrender to, to this love, to this intimacy. Okay? So this is a compatible person. Two people that have telepathy, that are connected on a soul level, emotional connection. Divine counterparts energy here. A lot of attraction. You could be engaged or getting engaged. Tell me more for... But there's something that is bothering your spirit and your soul about this with this anxiety. It could be because you're going through a lot of changes. A lot of times, you're, this anxiety has a message for you. There's Whatever's triggering you right now, the triggers are our guides. Yeah. So go within. Go within. Look, Ace of Cups, a lot of a lot of love, a lot of emotion. I'm going to go back around and do the love reading, but go within here. Hermit energy, do the introspecting and the soul searching to seek guidance from within, to seek answers, time to con recon to to feed your soul and your spirit, to reconnect with your soul, soul solitude, so that you can find the balance within here. Ground your energy, come back to the present moment. Because this soulmate here is sent by God, source, the universe, the divine. Okay. This is um, a beautiful connection that's harmonious and balanced. It brings in a lot of peace and harmony into your life. But I do feel for you to um, manage this anxiety here, to go within and find out what it's trying to tell you. There's so much treasure when you spend time in silence and in solitude that you find, right, uh, by doing some shadow work. Yeah, you're not, I feel like you, you, you could miss this opportunity for some of you guys. You can trust your intuition about this. You may not be very open to this. You may be skeptical, not trusting it. You may not be, you think it's deceptive. You may not be very open to this. This is somebody that's closed off. There's a cup coming, an opportunity coming for love, a door that's opening up for you that you could miss. Okay. If you're, if you're in this anxiety energy. If you don't let love in, this is somebody that's emotionally unavailable, bored, discontent, not happy with your options. And then here comes the divine offering you love, somebody. And, uh, and it, you're going to feel, it's going to be uh, somebody that you're going to, it's going to feel familiar to you. Could be a, a stranger that you recognize, right? Uh, somebody you had a past life with. It's going to trigger something here in you. Tell me more about this for Taurus for April. You're coming together with somebody? Yeah, it's a lot of changes that's going on in your life right now. And you're going to need to create some kind of a balance in your life. I feel like you got a lot going on with work, pri with your priorities, with your responsibilities. And it's like your emotions could be going up and down right now. Okay, but a balance is needed in your life. And it's like make room for love, make space in your life for love, make time for it. That's how we create a good balance. You could right under door, door to value, you could be having some money uh, issues right now. Money stress, that could be the anxiety that you're having. So. This is a harmonious change. The two of pentacles. Somebody is coming into your life here. Somebody is coming into your life. Okay. Hold on one second. Taurus.
So here this person comes. Spirit is saying, safe for you to take a leap of faith on this. Okay, but there is, I feel like there, it's important that you feel worthy and deserving. Yeah, you're skeptical, you're fearful about this. Go within here in meditation. It, you're safe here. You and your loved ones are safe. Um, it's safe to take a leap of faith on this person. I feel like, yeah, again, the universe is waiting for you to feel worthy and deserving to deliver this to you. Yeah. <laughs> Very strong message about that. This situation is going to bring in balance to your life. Again, feeling worthy and deserving of this love is where it's at. The universe tends to service what we feel we deserve. Okay. Um, you. It feels like you manifested this. What else for Taurus? Mm -hmm. Look at this anxiety. So take control of your thoughts. Okay. Remember that you're creating and manifesting your reality with your thoughts. And there you are. Empress energy. Okay. Can't seem to get out of your head about something here. Spirit is saying change your perspective. Uh, you got to change your perspective here, okay? This fear, this anxiety, uh, probably disturbing your sleep. You can't get out of your head about about this. Stress, burn, overwhelmed. When you ground your, like I said, uh, I posted on the community board that Pure Rasa is a channel on YouTube. She has a wonderful root chakra meditation. That's what's going to help you with this. To come back to the present moment, to get out of your head, Okay. And to feel, to, to, so you can listen to your heart. These thoughts here, too much thinking of the past, too much thinking of the future, you know, night terrors, struggle sleeping, um, is really, is really disconnecting you from your intuition. Too much thinking about the past, too much thinking about the future. There's too much control, too much attachment to the results. Tell me about this. Uh, and there you are. The Empress. So this is you that's stressing out about these this 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 these changes. These changes, these this new beginning coming in here for you, this connection perhaps. Um, you don't know if you can trust it. It's like you're you're what is this? What is this? Nine of Swords. We have the five of pentacles. You, this is self-sabotaging energy. Spirit is saying surrender right now. Surrender. And watch your thoughts. Watch your thoughts. Change. This is change that's taking place. You're being asked to walk away here. From any situation that's just not uh, serving you anymore. Okay. We'll put like stand down. Put your swords down. Okay. We have deception again. Oh, okay. Could it be that all of these doors, it feels like it's new. Could it be that you could be already in a situation? Because I've seen two feminines. Could it be that you're already in a situation? Yeah, you got to make a choice. You got to make a decision. Could it be that you already, you already are, you know, um, that could be what the deception is. Is that you are already in something, but you actually have a connection somewhere else with somebody else. And you need to make a decision. Stuck between two people, stressful decisions, facing your fears, crossroads energy. Yeah, needing to make a decision in your work life, perhaps, or I might have something to do with your worth and your value here, Taurus. Like leaving a settling situation for life changing love. <laughs> this is like true love here. Leaving a situation, you could be married, the Empress. And you like can't stop thinking about this.
for some of you guys. For others of you guys, um, this could be you, you know, stop, uh, releasing any kind of control when it comes to healing a relationship, starting over, starting new, healing a relationship that you're already in. Rekindling the passion, rekindling the romance. Okay, a lot of feminine energy here. So it's telling me all of this control is masculine energy. When we're thinking too much, we're in controlling everything. That's masculine energy. Spirit is saying to soften into your feminine energy, to soften into your heart space. Go into your heart. Do heart chakra guided meditation. Yeah. Look, I do feel like that the universe is guiding you away from um, some kind of hostile environment or situation. See, bags are packed. To follow your heart. To follow your heart. Can you please tell me about this Empress? For Taurus. Clarify this Empress. I'm going to pull from Romance Angels here in a bit. But there's a decision here that's giving you anxiety. And Spirit is saying once you go within hermit energy, soul searching, into meditation, into silence and stillness, that's where you're going to hear better, okay? The answers. And when you work on your crown and as well as root and heart chakra, do this work and you're going to see that you're going to see clearly, okay? The path here that you're meant to take. You're going to see clearly the doors opening and... Um, that it's like the synchronicities will come, the signs will come, and you'll and you'll feel better about flowing instead of fighting. This is like you fighting these changes. There's a situation here that you're trying to control and change, but it's just affecting your overall mental health. Like you're stuck on something. You can't see something straight here. You can't. This is a disconnect from your intuition. The fears, the doubts, the anxiety is one sword. And your intuition, the truth is on the other side. It's like a head and heart not on the same page. Your mind, your ego is resisting what your heart knows and what your heart is telling you at this time. Tell me about, um, because of fear, because of the ego, right? There's a lot of ego here. Tell me about, uh, this empress, clarify the empress here for Taurus. The Phoenix rekindle. I did say rekindle. So you could be, you know, have an opportunity here. Renew, to renew, to renew a relationship, but to rekindle a relationship. It's like you're, or it could, it could also be you're outgrowing something and you are changing your mind here. Okay. Uh, regarding a situation you've been in, it's like, I'm getting both energies, a rekindling of a situation uh, of a relationship, um, or, or a changed mind. Okay. You about it for some of you guys. Can I have one more on this Empress, please? Mm, that's what it is. So, so I was right. So there, there's a decision that you want to make regarding a relationship. You feel like you could be dealing with somebody that's deceptive. Okay, that's a... Uh, self-absorbed narcissistic tendencies one-sided relationship here right that could be what the anxiety is about that could be what the deception is about it's like you're changing your mind about something i feel like because of this awakening that you're going through it's like it's no longer resonating we have here a soulmate relationship right here right two of cups engagement ring talking so it feels like you're outgrowing as one situation. And, uh, and and because you're going through an awakening, it's like you want deeper intimacy. You want a deeper connection. You're like you're tired of fighting with somebody, not on the same page with somebody here. There's a lack of communication, intimidation. There is, um, again, this person here, 
narcissistic tendencies, wants to win at any cost, has a lot of ego. It could be you or somebody in your energy. Petty, childish, controlling, manipulative. There's deception, right? We, so we started with that. Yeah, it looks like a decision here. It's decision time. It's decision time. You're going up and down and back and forth with your emotions about this. You're on you're 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 on the fence. And it and and I it just honestly feels here that once you take a step back here from all of it and you go within, you're going to know exactly what to do and I feel like you are uh, doors are opening up. I do feel like you are being asked to have the courage to you know follow your heart have the courage to follow your heart here um so there's a relationship that you in that you feel like it's one-sided this guy uh that wants to fight all the time that one that likes the drama the chaos you know this person here is uh plays mind games is arrogant is cocky is entitled I don't know. It just, it feels like, tell me about this two of cups here and this door to romance. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. So once you, okay, so, so that makes more sense. So there's stuff that's being revealed to you here through your crown chakra is what we saw. There's stuff that needs, that's being revealed um, to you about, you know, you're going through this awakening, right? This Phoenix rising. It feels like once you heal your heart and open your heart, heal your heart, open your heart here, you and you're freeing yourself from a toxic situation. That's when doors of opportunities here is going to open up for you. Okay. Um, door to your, your soulmate's going to be sent your way. Money's going to come your way. It feels like this situation here that that's what the anxiety is trying to tell you. The anxiety is trying to tell you it's time to go from a situation that's that you, you could be dealing with a karmic a narcissist okay and uh, once you heal your heart woman holding a heart the doors to opportunities and love is going to open for you and um and you're going to meet somebody new here i feel like you could already be healing your heart but for some of you guys i feel like you're still kind of stuck in, in, in decision decision mode you know, worried and fearful of the results, the outcome here. And um, your, your worth and your value is, is being put to question. Now is a lucky time for you to make these decisions and release your fears here when it comes to your loved ones. Okay, it does uh, look like here that once you get out of this situation that you're in, it's not healthy for you. That's stressing you out, creating sleepless nights and anxiety. That could be the anxiety, could be the fear of leaving this behind. Um, a Taurus energy is a fixed sign. Not very comfortable with change, right? But once you surrender, accept, surrender to what is and flow instead of fighting what your heart's telling you to do, uh, doors are going to start to open. A lot of times we're in the wrong relationship or in the wrong life. That's when we have depression and anxiety. When we're in the wrong relationship, that it creates a lot of lack in our life, uh, in our energy levels. When we're being bullied by somebody that has narcissistic tendencies, what happens is we, um, it blocks our flow of abundance. It blocks, it creates energetic blocks to our success, to our dreams, to, our, to love, to abundance, to all of it. But once you open your heart and heal your heart, you're going to be ready to let love in here. And that's when the universe is going to send you your person. But first, you got to get out of the situation you're in. Okay? For some of you guys, it's like it really is about following your heart. Let me get a, a message here for... I am going to pull romance angels as well. And then we'll wrap... Yeah, it really is about you feeling deserving and worthy. And the longer you stay in a situation that is one-sided, 
that you are settling in, that there's codependency here, right? The more you're telling the universe that you don't deserve true love, you don't deserve happiness, you don't deserve, okay? So you are lovable. So it's, a, it's a, the universe. I felt that earlier. The universe is the door to value. The universe is waiting for you to heal your heart so that you can feel deserving of, you know, true, genuine, not superficial, not superficial, materialistic 3D connections. You're going through an awakening, which means now you're connect. You want to connect on a deeper level you know, deeper intimacy, deeper conscious soulmate connections that you connect on a soul level that's connected to your heart space. What is the guidance for Taurus here for April? It's decision time. Yeah. See, the signs are trying to tell you, yeah, you could be married to this person. Like I said, the signs are trying to tell you through this anxiety Pay attention to the red flags. Lean on your inner circle, um, your community, your soul family, your soul tribe, the people that are awakened and ascended, not going to give you guidance from their own trauma-based wounds and biases. You'll know who they are. Trust your intuition. It has to do with a marriage that you're in. Um, that's just, uh, you know, I feel like there's a lot of red flags here. Your intuition is trying to guide you with this anxiety. Sometimes when we feel anxiety, that means something is not right. Something is off. Okay. Um, it's important that we listen to it because the longer you stay in a situation. Yeah. I feel like there's going to be a soulmate or there is a soulmate already in your life. I feel like the choice could be between two people. Uh, you may have already met the soulmate for some of you guys, but yeah, again, he, you got to heal first, heal your heart before things are being revealed to you heal your heart before you start anything with anyone you don't want to jump from one thing to the next what is the guidance here for taurus serenity and peace and forgiveness serenity bestows inner peace tranquility and calmness of mind when you feel serene you are on you are your own person for nothing and no one can bother upset or influence you again there's somebody here that could be not a nice person this five of five of swords person you are like a calm clear lake beautiful and peaceful to be with your quiet radiance brings hope and support to those who come within your aura you attract respect and love from others for all are calmed by you that's the energy of the empress right as you become deeply serene and 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 still you connect to a higher powers of the universe for divine guidance. That's what I said, become inner, become still, uh, with the, with the hermit card, right? Go within, take a sacred pause so you can see a different perspective, um, for, and your path in life becomes more smooth and flowing. That's what this uh, surrender to the flow is quietly ask your angels to hold you in serenity i am serene and still go into silence and stillness to help you to feel the peace so you know what to do and then forgiveness is part of this heart healing then i say to do the forgiveness affirmations angel wisdom reminds you that challenging people and situations that's this energy are sent to you as your most important teachers without them your soul would not grow your guidance is to let go of the hurt resentment and anger of the past it's creating energetic blocks and, 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 and your heart not open. Okay. Your guidance is to let go of all of that. When you forgive others and yourself, your karma is rubbed out of your soul's records. You will enjoy love in your heart and lightness of spirit. Ask the angels to help you to dissolve your hurt, anger, and guilt. They will take your burdens from you. When you love unconditionally, there is nothing to forgive. Love is forgiving. So open your heart and give love right here. You are ready to let love in. Okay. So uh, I'm going to leave it right here, Taurus. Let me know how this resonated for you in the comments below. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, donating to the channel, and scheduling readings with me. I love you all. God bless you. And I'm going to say much love until next time.